This is a 52-year-old male who underwent a screening brain MRI for a family history of multiple pheochromocytomas and renal cysts. Arising from the posterior inferior aspect of the posterior cranial fossa, there is a T1 hypo-intense mass which invades the cerebellar hemispheres and vermis. Several prominent flow voids are identified. The lesion is poorly circumscribed on the flare-weighted images and is surrounded by vasogenic edema. The mass deforms the cerebellar hemispheres and vermis, resulting in effacement of the fourth ventricle. The prominent serpiginous flow voids are identified at the inferior aspect of the lesion extending towards the cisterna magna. There is avid post-contrast enhancement and increased blood volume within the lesion. Given its overall appearance, the differential diagnosis includes hemangioblastoma, metastatic disease, and high-grade glioma. Given the family history of multiple pheochromocytomas and renal cysts, this was suspected to be a hemangioblastoma. Hemangioblastomas are most commonly found in the cerebellum, brainstem, spinal cord. 25 to 40 percent of hemangioblastomas occur in the setting of von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. Primary treatment is with total resection. This case was complicated by recurrent epidural hematoma development following resection. The most common po posterior fossa intraaxial mass in middle-aged adults is metastatic disease, while the most common primary tumor of the posterior cranial fossa in middle-aged adults is hemangioblastoma.